All right, guys, so I am sanding now. Um, it is 8.15, so it's been about 45, no, close to an hour. Because it was a little bit before 7.30 when I was recording that, but I got a 320 grit um, sanding block, sponge, whatever. And then I've got the old um, medium ones or whatever from Harbor Freight, which I think were like 180 or 150 or something like that. Um, really, the only issue is this one cabinet. There's like a couple cracks, and that was on the first coat. So I think um, before I put that moisture thing on the gun, I think maybe it dripped some water or something like that. I'm not really sure. I can't say. I might be completely wrong. But um, they're really minimal. They actually look worse on camera, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of that wood filler and just fill them in, sand it down. One little one right there. Luckily, like, this is the top of the cabinet, though, so you're going to be looking down. So you won't really see that one too much. I don't have, I'm going to fill it in, but it's, you know, not, like, a big deal. Um, Most of them look pretty good. Um, Some of them have, like, a little bit of orange peel. If you can kind of see the texture, but a little bit of sanding, and that will go right away. Um, this one has a little splatter right there. Just really minor stuff like that, which, I mean, it'll probably take me five minutes per door tops, you know, if I completely sand them down. Um, these two are the ones that I filled in. I had the handle over, and I actually filled it in, so you can just so slightly tell. Hopefully it'll focus here. So slightly. You really can't without a light on. This one you kind of can, you can see it right there. But that handle is wide enough where it's gonna cover most of that anyways, so I'm not even worried about that. Plus, once I put paint on here, like actual paint, it's a lot thicker and it's gonna fill that right in, I'm almost positive. So the only thing I don't really like, and I'm not too worried about it because I think it's actually gonna just like, oh man, my camera will not focus here. Okay, here we go, autofocus again, I think. I don't know why, it was like stuck on one spot. I had to keep like tapping it. Um, the only issue, and I don't even know necessarily that it's an issue, is the cracks where the wood meets. So you can see like it kind of filled in with primer, kind of didn't in some spots. Some you can't even tell it's there. Other ones like this, it's really like vivid. Um, again, I believe that will probably fill in when I spray actual paint on it because the paint is a lot thicker. This stuff right here, this primer, is the consistency literally of like milk. It is just a tad thicker than water. So like it lays down really um, thin, I guess. It's just, you know, it just kind of seeps in everywhere. So I didn't expect it to fill those cracks. I didn't, you don't notice them as much when it's not white. So I didn't really think about it. Um, but yeah, the paint, like I said, it's a lot thicker. So hopefully it fills it in. If not, I could probably do some sanding and take care of it. But I'm not too worried about it because, like I said, it's filled in on like most of them. You don't even see it, like this one right here. But, um, yeah, so what else? What else? What else? Oh, this corner I bumped into. I'm trying to, I don't know how you, if you'll be able to see it on camera. Yeah, you're not really going to be able to see it. You can kind of see the paint difference there. Um, I just got to do a little bit of light sanding, but any little imperfection is super easy to sand out. Um, this door only has one coat, so you can almost kind of see the wood color through it still. You can see like this is like a crisp white, and then that's got like just a little like tinge of like wood color coming through. So that one is the one I forgot to paint yesterday. So these are on their second. That is on its first. So that'll be on its second. These will be on their third. And then I'll have to come back, unfortunately, and do one more coat of that. But, so to clean the gun, normally you can use something like this or paint thinner. And I have a ton of this because this is what you use for the Plasti Dip. Um, it just completely, like, liquefies the stuff, which is awesome. Um, I've been using this to clean the gun. And when the, the bin, the primer right here... When this stuff is wet, this works amazing. It gets it right off. When it dries, however, though, this doesn't do anything. So anything that dried in the gun before I could clean it, and I clean it literally as soon as I stopped spraying, I'd fill the hopper up about halfway with this and shake it and scrub it and all that. 
but anything like in the tip, for instance, that dried, this does nothing. So I looked on the actual paint can, or the primer can. Let me see, clean up. Equal parts household ammonia and water or denatured alcohol. So bought some denatured alcohol. Um, I'm gonna go clean the gun with this and get these babies their last coat and get that one its second coat, second to last. And yeah, I'll see you guys here in a little bit. I lied, I'm gonna do some sanding, so. Uh, I'm gonna sand these down. Um, actually, no, I lied. I'm gonna sand the bad spots. Like that little nub right there that's sticking up and like some of the orange peel. I'm gonna sand that because like the little tiny like almost splatter looking things those will sand right off no problem even with more coats on it it'll just coat over it and then i'll sand that smooth um because i'd rather do all the sanding at the end right before paint so i'm gonna sand a little bit and then i'm gonna do another coat okay update um it's been like two minutes i am not going to be painting because there are oh, of course there's gonna be none of them now on like five different cabinet doors, like I've blown, like went <sighs> to like, on each one, five or 10 of these like little tiny, like almost like a fruit fly looking thing. You know, just it's late at night, so it's dark, it's light. I got the garage door closed, but you know, there's still like gaps and holes and stuff, I would imagine. Probably just little flies in here in general. But um, yeah, I'm not trying to do extra work and sand bugs out of this so yeah i'm going to get up in the morning and do the final coat of primer and then that way like i'll get up in the morning i'm going to do the final coat of primer i'm going to sand them right now so they're ready to go in the morning i just come out here and literally spray um come out here get that set up do the primer and then hopefully it's only like eight or nine o'clock and then after that, I will shoot across town to Ace Hardware, pick up the paint, and come back, let these dry again, you know, till probably after Shelby goes to work. Um, and then I'll probably paint the boxes in the house, the cabinets, um, just while I wait for these to dry. And I'll paint these, like, later in the day. I'll try to get at least two good coats. I'm going for three coats, but hopefully I can get them all on tomorrow. I don't know what the... Um, like instructions or whatever I'll say on the paint, like how long you gotta let it dry. Hopefully I can get a couple coats in in one day. Um, worst case scenario, I'll do like, you know, I'll do one as soon as I get back, you know, which hopefully, well, after these dry, when Shelby goes to work, I'll probably do the first coat of paint. Run to Ace, get the paint. Um, hopefully get the cab, the boxes in done. The boxes are like what's inside. Like, you know, those are like the actual cabinets themselves. These are just the doors. I was calling those the faces, but I don't think that's what those are called. I think that's what these are called, but I'm gonna call these doors. I'm gonna call the things inside the boxes because that makes more sense. So hopefully get the boxes painted with their first coat. Um, and then, like I said, it's just all gonna be, depend on drying time, so. Get those done. Hopefully come out here, get a coat on here done. It would be nice to go right back inside and get another coat in there done. I'm gonna do try to do three and three. Um, but worst case, I might do two on the boxes and then three out here, you know, if I don't have enough paint or something like that. But paint will be on these things tomorrow. Paint will be inside tomorrow because these it's it's i'm done playing around like i'm not you know wasting no more time these need to be back inside like tomorrow tomorrow night or monday sometime we're supposed to get some rain it's gonna get humid i don't want these out here i don't want any damage done to them and i want our damn kitchen done this is taking way longer than i expected now by like three times the amount of time so i will see you guys in the morning and uh we'll go from there okay it is the next morning um, it is 11.10. I've been out here since probably, God, it had to be about 9.30, so I've been out here for a while. Um, I busted out the sanding block. I took some, uh, 320 grit, and I completely sanded them, like, 
all of this, you know, the whole front. So that took probably a good hour, I'd say. And then I found just like a few little tiny spots on each one that uh, I wanted to fill in. So like this one had, where is it at? This is the one that had the cracks in it that I showed you. So those filled in really nice, but some of the stuff didn't like adhere good. So I put a little bit more in there. Um, this one had really hard to see unless it was in the right light. It had some of the same things, but they were really small. But I still wanted to fill them in. Um, filled in some of these bad gaps. And then there was some bad orange peel right there. So I just put that on. I'm waiting for that to dry. It takes about, uh, probably good about 20 minutes. Shelby just ran to the store. And she's going to get us some food. Um, I also just sanded all the trim down. The trim, this goes like up against the ceiling. Um, so that's going to get primer today and paint as well. Um, wow, I'm so dusty. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, I wanted to have the primer done by now, but unfortunately, my uh, perfectionist side, I guess, kind of took over, so did w like literally three times the amount of sanding that I assumed I was going to do because I thought last night I sanded them roughly with the sanding sponge but all that really did was like take the dried on like overspray off um it didn't actually like sand any of the primer itself so that was kind of a waste of time unfortunately but oh well so now I wait for this literally just sitting here watching this stuff dry sand that down Hopefully get this coat of primer on here in the next, hopefully by 12 o'clock. And then, um, you know, see what we're going to eat. Eat some food because I'm starving. And then after that, I will be going to Ace Hardware and getting our paint. It wouldn't be a video for me if I wasn't complaining about something, right? Okay, so let's tell you about my day today. It is Sunday. It is my one day off that I look forward to all week, and it has been terrible. Okay, anyways, um, so in the last snippet, you saw me sand on the cabinets down, but the one from last night, um, my plans were today to have them painted and by tomorrow basically be done painting and just waiting for them to dry for a day or so before I put them back on. I was unaware that paint takes 50 years to fully dry, so... Um, I guess let's backtrack a little bit. So I got my last coat of primer on today around noon, maybe a little bit later, maybe closer to one o'clock. Um, Shelby left for work and then I ran across town to Ace Hardware. Um, I go in there, I pick a color out. I go to look for the, I was going for the Benjamin Moore advanced paint because Ace is the only one that sells it and it's really highly rated you know for cabinets for doing exactly what i'm doing so i'm like cool sweet and then the spray gun i bought well, of course it's gonna have well, i can't show you the other side because it's got a big sticker with my address and stuff on it so i bought this spray gun off amazon for it was on sale for a hundred bucks and people use that gun with the Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint without having to thin it or anything. Just pour it right in. You know, obviously you gotta adjust your gun, get make sure you got the right tech, you know, cap and stuff. But cool, no thinning. So the paint quality is the paint quality. You know, there's there it's not gonna be weaker, it's not gonna be compromised, it's not gonna have a different sheen. Um get there, I get to ace, and of course. It's the only ace that doesn't have the advanced paint. They don't carry that one. So I was like, I was so mad because I wanted the paint today. Like, I am getting a coat of paint on today, come hell or high water. I'm like, I was so ready to just grab one that looked good and just be like, you know what? Screw it. Mix this color. I'm taking it home. I'm using it. But the thing is, like, it. see, wall paint, for me personally, in my experience... I can go with the cheap stuff and make it look great. And I'm not going to use this as, as an example of looking great because of the poor tape job I did. We didn't really tape much off. But as for coverage and 
cover and durability and stuff. This is like the $22 gallon of paint from Lowe's, the Valspar. And we love it. And I had no issues with it whatsoever. No chipping, no peeling, no nothing. Um, cabinet paint is really sensitive because the cabinets have finishes on them. There's different types of wood. Depends on the primer you use. It depends on how good you clean them, clean them and prep them and sand them. So, you know, obviously I knew the paint was going to be more expensive. Um, also, you know, it's just like you... My point of saying all that was like, you can't just go grab a gallon of paint and then paint them. It just... Sure, it might work, but it's not going to last. It's any, you know, bump or, you know, scuff against it. It's just going to, you know, chance our chip right off. It's going to look like crap. It's, you know, it, the texture is going to be bad. You know, just there's just a million variables. So you really do get what you pay for when it comes to actual cabinet paint. Um, like my mom, for instance, at her last house that she just moved out of, she it had like these terrible, like, dark brown like fake wood um cabinets and she literally just took like a cheap paint roller and a cheap gallon of white paint and literally just rolled right over them and it looked awful like it looked terrible the grain shows through i guess like in a lot of finishes like that that coloring of the wood will eventually seep through the paint and just like stain it so like it's it, there's a reason like there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this and if you don't do it the right way, it's gonna be bad. Like and this is, well, you guys haven't you know you guys have only seen what I've condensed into you know a couple videos now or one or two videos however many I've done so far, and you know you for me this has been two weeks you know where aside from you know a handful of days like I've been working on it every day for quite a while you know and it's really tedious you know so it's. My point of saying all that is like, I don't want to skimp on the paint and have done all this prep work and sanding and cleaning to use a crappy paint that's not going to last, you know? So, um, I left Ace and I got back online. I was looking up other, you know, recommendations and stuff. And Sharon Williams Chem Aqua was another, like, really like, basically as much as people like the Benjamin Moore Advance people like this if not more so i'm like all right cool you know it might be a little bit more expensive but you know it seems like a you know can't go wrong with this stuff it seems awesome so i was like you know what we got a sherwin williams right down the road i was like but it's sunday i'm sure they're closed nope they were open so bop down there i go right to the paint the swatch wall or whatever i pick out a color i had like five different ones and i had the backsplash with me i was trying to like you know see I was kind of trying to go for a white that matched and then I was like if I get something close that's perfectly fine with me because there is going to be like a depth difference and lighting difference so it doesn't need to match perfectly plus I wanted one that kind of goes like with the the grout in the tiles you know something that looked good so I brought them with me just kind of for like a reference um, I ended up picking a color it was just I think it was called pure white which I thought it was an actual color but like that's just literally what the paint cans come as which is really cool because it was actually my favorite one i picked there was one like arctic white or something like that and it was almost like the slightest hint of blue and i thought i was like that kind of looks good because the the gray we use almost has a light 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 blue hue to it in certain lighting so i'm like that could actually look good and i was like no I like the pure white. I go up there and the guy's like, how can I help you? And I was like, yeah, I want uh, this color and the chem aqua. So, oh man, we don't stock that one here. And I'm like, I'm just at that point, like I was ready to give up. I'm like, dude, I am like, this is a nightmare trying to find the paint. I was talking to him for a minute. I'm like, I want to, you know, everyone told me to go with the Benjamin Moore advance, you know? So I go to Ace Hardware. They don't have it. I go to the other Ace. They don't have it. Um, then I, you know, find this stuff, this Cam Aqua, and people love it, and you guys don't have it. I'm like, I need to get this paint late, like, at least one coat down today. Like, you know, is there anything that you recommend? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I actually prefer this stuff. And it is the Emerald uh, Urethane Trim Enamel. Trim Enamel? 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 I don't know. So I was like, all right, I was like, let me uh, look up some stuff online, you know, some reviews and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, yeah, take your time. So I'd, I go look it up. Everybody seemed, I, you know, as with everything, there was, you know, 
10 people that loved it and then one person that had a horrible experience and then 10 more that loved it and then one person that was like ah it wasn't that great so give it like a 9 out of 10 i guess overall um it actually seemed like more people like this than the benjamin more advanced because these two are like always compared like people would be like this one or this one and there's videos comparing both stuff like that they're both great paints i guess but this stuff is apparently like the thickest paint on the market of course you know so i bought this spray gun because it has like a higher power and you don't have to thin the paint the benjamin more advanced this stuff you do because it is insanely thick it's like honey almost and then another thing i found out with that benjamin more advanced the dry time between coats 16 hours minimum that's in like ideal conditions like under 50 percent humidity like 65 degree temperature outside and i'm like are you like i wanted these done by like tomorrow so they could be drying over tomorrow night and then like tuesday i don't know like i'm just uh, i'm so frustrated so i check on this stuff this stuff has a four hour time but again that's ideal conditions some people say in three hours it was perfectly dry some people said it was six hours and it was still kind of tacky so i'm hoping because i'm spraying it and it'll be a little bit thinner than like if you were to roll it or brush it on it'll dry a little bit quicker and i can get two coats on today at least but so i finally found out you use distilled water for this so i had to run back out to kroger grab a gallon of distilled water and then i guess i'm just gonna have to mix it in like most people say you know basically like almost fill it with paint and then you know just do like a little bit of water in there and just you know mix it up and stuff and so i'm gonna just have to experience experiment with that um it's just i don't know i was hoping i knew this process wasn't going to be easy but i was hoping it was going to go a lot smoother than what it is so unfortunately the slingshot is going to sit outside tomorrow in the rain so i mean obviously i'll have the cover on it but I am going to go attempt to spray the first coat. Um, I guess I'm gonna flip them over and do the backs first. <laughs> we'll see. This thing is awesome. So it is definitely a bit of a learning curve. Um, I've kind of adjusted it as I went and gotten better on each one. You gotta go fast with this thing. Like with the Harbor Freight gun, you're going like This thing, you gotta be like so here's what it sounds like. This thing is sweet. I'm gonna try to prop my phone up because my stupid gimbal thing is dead, so I can't use that. the semi-gloss over the satin most people choose the satin but um this stuff when you thin it down it kind of loses a little bit of the sheen anyway so it'll be kind of like if you were to mix like 50 percent satin and 50 percent semi-gloss also don't laugh at the shirt tucked in i did it so when i'm leaning over like my shirt's not dragging against stuff so as you can see the texture is not perfect yet but um, it also just laid, so it's still gonna kind of like even out as it dries. This stuff is really tacky, or uh, really slow drying, I guess would be the term. But um, yeah, I'm really, really glad I went with that gloss white. That looks really good. And worst case, if this doesn't smooth out perfectly, um, I can sand it. So 
You can see like down here on my first view, I went way too heavy. So these are definitely gonna need some sanding. I think I'm gonna dial this down a little bit still. Just a hair. And uh, how much product it sprays out. So the cool thing about this is when I'm done using it, it's got a cap. So I can literally just take this, uh, this part off and cap it up because obviously I'm not going to use this paint yet. But um, I'm going to go out and actually get the trim pieces out there. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to tape those down because they're going to move. All right. First coat of paint is on. I am inside. Of course, when the like the real important part starts now, it's uh, going to rain tomorrow, which sucks. Praying to God that the garage doesn't have any like small leaks or anything that I don't know about. Um, cause that would just absolutely ruin that paint. I would have to say, I mean, I would have to sand it down and, you know, just repaint those ones, but that would just be really annoying. But thank God it's the backs, I guess, if that did happen. Um, yeah, so that actually went down really good. Um, I definitely need to dial the nozzle back, not the nozzle, but like the, there's like a little a knob to adjust how much it lets out. Definitely got to dial that back down a little bit more cause when I started, I was just spraying on the wall just to, I was like, cool, that's a good beam. And like I said, I was used to the Harbor Freight Gun, the HVLP, where I had to spray and just be like, you know, to get a good, you know, coating on there. Whereas this, you gotta be like, literally me going this quick, like I'm just gonna use the screen as an example, pretend this is like a whole cabinet door. Harbor Freight Gun is like, this gun, that quick like you can't stop you can't be like you know slow with it or you know hold it in one spot or anything like that um so i think down that little knob down will help a lot um right off the bat though i thought i had it dialed in pretty good the first couple i did but i was like wow this is going on really thick there's definitely gonna be some orange peel on those ones um no big deal i'll just have to sand it down it, it is a learning curve and also those are the back ones so or it's you know like the back of the cabinet so you know you're not gonna see that unless you're opening the door to get something and then you're just staring at the door which you know who does that yeah so tomorrow right after work get out there get another coat down and then you know if i gotta sand anything i'll be able to sand because it'll been have it'll have been like 18 19 hours um so get another coat down and then that will the two coats will be enough like for the back i'm just doing two on the back possibly three on the front but maybe two on the front really kind of undecided i guess just depends on how it looks you know the more the better but also like if i get a really good second coat and everything's nice and smooth i don't want to risk you know doing another coat where i could spray it too heavy or too light you know and it you know just not look perfect so we'll see um at least two coats though but um the paint will be ready for another coat after roughly four hours but it's not really ready to handle until i think it said eight to ten hours which handle is like grab it you know move it stuff like that you know so like if i do a coat and then wait four hours and then flip it all that paint is actually going to be damaged because you know the weight of the cabinet sitting down and you know the boards that they're sitting on it's just going to push against it and it's going to you know kind of deform it possibly make it chip or peel or something so not going to do that so i'll get the second coat on tomorrow and then by tuesday i'll be able to flip it and hopefully Tuesday, I'll be able to get two coats on. Like I'll do one coat right after work, you know, hopefully I get off pretty early, you know, we'll say 2.30ish, I'll be home, um, get a coat on there. And then maybe by like, cause I'll definitely wait longer just to be safe. Maybe by, let's see, 2.30, so three, four, five, six. So 6.30ish will be about four hours. Maybe wait till like eight, 8.30, do a second coat because it doesn't take long. It literally takes longer to clean the gun than it does to spray a coat on all of those all that stressing out for nothing i mean not for nothing i learned a lot when i was reading stuff but you guys know it as well as i do like if you watch my other videos i just for some reason when i'm working on project and i take stuff on like at some point no matter what it is like i'll just feel like overwhelmed and i'm like i don't know my brain just like shuts down and i'm just like i'm done you know like not done with it but like i just need to either go to bed and restart or you know, eat some food and just relax for a little bit, but I'm good now. Everything's good. Day got better. So 
and it's actually pretty early it's only like seven o'clock so i just texted my mom um she lives literally just straight down the road like right down the road in our neighborhood so i'm gonna see if i can use her garage and park the slingshot tonight and tomorrow possibly another day because it's supposed to rain tomorrow i do have that cover but um i stupidly left it in the garage so it's really dusty right now with the overspray which is no big deal i can just literally shake it off and it'll be fine plus the rain would rinse it off but i don't want to grab that and be moving it around because it's all the way behind the cabinet so i would have to walk up front with it like holding it up in the air almost you know to not hit the cabinets and i'm sure that thing would have some dust falling off it and get right in the paint so that's why i'm kind of like eh. if she doesn't respond you know then i would do that obviously but um i don't think she'll care she just like she's a person though that literally like if she texts me she wants me to reply back right away if i text her it's typically upwards of an hour or more before i'll get a response back because she just she'll set her phone down like on the kitchen counter and then just leave it there until she checks it you know she treats it like a home phone or something but uh yeah so i'm waiting for that i got paint all over this stuff is sweet though it cleans up with water like that's ins i don't know like i deal with automotive stuff so cleaning up paint with water is like mind-blowing yeah so i'm gonna go get cleaned up hopefully she responds back and i can drop that off and just you know she'll drive me right back home or i'll walk i don't care and i'm gonna snack on some good snacks um Shelby bought some of these at Kroger today. They are the, like, those big, fluffy, like, chocolate chip pumpkin cookies. I could live on these things. They are so dang good. Um, yeah. All right, guys. I'll let you know.